Okay, here's my next project. It's a kit by Peck Polymers. It's a laser cut kit. And basically what that means is the parts are already all cut out. All you have to do is punch them out. This saves an enormous amount of time. This will actually be the first laser cut kit I've ever made. So we'll see how that goes. Um, and the other thing I'll show you is the fuselage uses what's called the keel informer method. So I'll show you that too. Okay, now we've got most of the structure built. Uh, the older Pinots used to use a 16 square, but uh, this uses a 20th square, so it's very light. Uh, you can see I got most of the wing done, a little bit on the cowl, and here's the fuselage. Now what I'm doing different on this is normally you would build the half shell, and then you would try to build the other half maybe on top here. But if the keel is warped, you'll have problems, and it's difficult to get everything aligned. So what I've done is I've temporarily tack glued on some cross braces, and a long piece and then you could just lift the whole thing right up okay you can bring it over to this jig you can make one but I just bought this from Rocky Top Models and I'm gonna flip it over and put it on the jig and then I'll show you the next part alright so now I've got the fuses in the jig you can see I have some rubber bands holding down the cross braces here so this will keep the keel nice and flat and then I'm putting in the formers and uh, you know this way you can check the alignment of everything make sure it's nice and vertical okay and then next what I have to do is put in the stringers and then I'll cut out these temporary cross braces and the fuselage will mostly be done okay now we've got the fuselage off the jig the fuselage for the zero is a little bit more involved here you gotta fill in the nose with sheet which I already did and you also have to do that in the tail and sand it to a little cone which I also did uh, another thing I did is uh, I scalloped the formers here a little bit not sure you can see it so that when you tissue it the tissue only lays on the stringers it doesn't touch the formers it looks a little nicer that way and uh, you know an old polish uh, thing this is a real handy sanding tool now another problem is the nose button on the zero because uh, basically when you're out in the field usually you'll want to trim the thrust adjustment a little bit and you do that by shimming but there's no room to shim with any balsa here so what I did is I bought an adjustable nose button it's probably kind of hard to see but it has a little ball in here you can change the angle and then you have three screws you can tighten now in this case you have to tighten them from the rear because the zero has a little uh, nose cone so there's no room to do it from the front so what I did is I made three little holes here in the back and what you do is when I'm in the field flying I can adjust the angle and then I can use this little Allen wrench and from the back I can tighten the nuts to hold the angle so I'm really looking forward to trying this. All right, so now I've finished covering the zero. I again use this, which is a glue stick, and also when you're putting it on, you can thin it down a little bit with rubbing alcohol, which makes it easier. I also put some detail on the canopy, and then I, for that I use this. It's called usually called striping tape or trim tape. You can see it comes in different thicknesses. Okay, and then I glued on the canopy using this, which is called canopy glue. The nice part is it dries nice and clear. If you go online in pre-flight org, you'll find a lot of these materials. And I held the canopy on with this painter's tape while it was drying. I also used that to mask around the nose where I painted. Now the paint did seep a little bit under the tape. Okay, I had to clean it up so it doesn't look too bad. But years ago, I remember I used to put a little clear dope around the tape, and now I can see why. It'll prevent the uh, paint from seeping under the tape. Now there's additional you know, detail I could put on this, but I really just built this as a sport low wing model. So I'm gonna make a box for this and the other peanut I built, and then I'll see you out in the field.